and welcome to Kenya Secrets, if you are new to the channel kindly subscribe. Senior Counsel Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi has shockingly guaranteed that President Uhuru Kenyatta and previous Prime Minister Rayla Odinga don't believe the Supreme Court should invalidate the August 9 official races. The Grand Mullah who is a vocal pundit of the previous Prime Minister has guaranteed that the head of State and the Azimio La Umoja official up and Comer have their inclination on what the Supreme Court ought to do. His opinions are just before the Azimi Ola Umoja camp promising to go to the Supreme Court to challenge the result of the official political race. While taking to his Twitter account, the well-known city lawyer has thought that Uhuru and Rayla didn't fancy a rerun yet they believed. The Supreme Court should proclaim Azimi Ola Umoja's official competitor as the champ of the August 9 general decisions. He is anyway inflexible that such sort of a move by both Rayla and Uhuru was doubtful and inconceivable and similarly improbable to occur. In other news, Rep. President, D.P., William Ruto was openly announced the victor of this year's official political race by IEBC. Supervisor Wafula Ki Bukati. He was given with a structure 34D.E winning testament which made him the official choose. Ruto challenged on a Kenya-Kwanzaa alliance against Rayla Odinga of the Azimio La Umoja won Kenya alliance who arose second. Azimio united around 26 ideological groups including the Jubilee Party JP which is driven by active President Uhuru Kenyatta. In their most memorable question and answer session, Rayla Odinga who was tending to a designation of Azimio expressed that they have dismissed the outcomes reported by Kibukati and they will be gone to court to challenge that. In 2017, the Supreme Court of Kenya drove by previous Chief Justice David Murga left a mark on the world by invalidating the official races. During that time, President Uhuru was protecting his seat by means of JP against Rayla Odinga and his NASA alliance. As per the Supreme Court the races was defaced with a ton of inconsistencies in the way they directed the decisions. C.J. Murga and his board posed a major inquiry that will stay ever. In a surveying station you are given six voting form papers, you vote just for president. Where do you take the leftover five voting form papers? The Supreme Court asked J.P. attorneys. As per arising reports it seems like the inquiry will upset D.P. William Ruto's groups of attorneys as they will be guarding the triumph of their chief. This is expected to alleraged constituent disparities in votes cast in MT Kenya district which has seen the absolute decisions in favor of president being more that the complete votes accumulated by gubernatorial, senatorial and ladies delegate applicants in some counties. My old buddy at Donald B. Kip Korer, these supposed 500k official votes that are far beyond the gubernatorial votes in Mount Kenya locale are falsehood. There is no such disparity in the real votes pronounced. Check the genuine Kayambu IEBC figures which match at 824k versus 822k, tweeted Dr. Ahmed Kalbi. Hope you enjoy the video and please, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be able to watch our uploaded